According to a coroner's inquiry into the fatal Tanjung Paga car crash that killed five people, the white BMW M4 had hit speeds of up to 148 km per hour before the collision. And that's almost three times the 50 km per hour speed limit for the stretch along Tanjung Paga Road. Jonathan Long Chinwei, who owned the car, was at the wheel when it crashed. Now, the autopsy showed that Mr. Long had a blood alcohol reading of 86 mg of alcohol per 100 ml of blood. The legal limit is 80 mg per 100 ml. Mr. Long was one of four people to drive his newly purchased BMW that night. Only two of the four, Mr. Long and Eugene Yap Tseng Min, were among the five people in the car when it was Mr. Long's turn to drive. The others were Wilson Teo Chi Siang, Elvin Tan Yong Hao, and Gary Wong Hong Chie, making up a total of one driver and four passengers although the car only has designated seats for one driver and three passengers. The inquiry is adjourned. Now, our court correspondent who was in attendance describes the mood at the hearing. Basically, as with most um, other coroner's inquiries, the moods for such hearings are usually extremely sombre because you've got to remember that ultimately, for these kind of cases, people actually died. Lives were lost. So moods in coroner's inquiries are always very serious. Lots of very um, sad, very unhappy people in the galleries um, or even among the next of kin as they um, um, listen to the case that's been presented in court. The case itself was moved to a much bigger courtroom. So I predict today there were about 50 people seated in the gallery alone. And that doesn't include the law, the lawyers for some of the um, deceased parties, um, the next of kin, and of course, members of the media. And I've got to tell you that um, the journalists um, and other members of the media turned up in full force. The inquiry has been adjourned to a later date because the state coroner himself said that um, they, they need to assess whether there's a need for more witnesses to be called forward to present their cases before the court. So for now, today, there have, been, there have been two witnesses, which is basically the I.O., as well as um, the, SC, uh, the SCDF fire investigator who presented their cases. So we're going to expect that the sit coroner will be giving his findings at a later date. And more details have emerged from the coroner's inquiry. Now, the court heard that the airbags of the car did not deploy in the accident. This was because the sensors were located at the front and sides of the vehicle, whereas the point of impact was at the rear. And the driver, Jonathan Long, was likely to have been alive shortly after impact, breathing in significant amounts of smoke from the fire before dying from severe burns. Now, you can get more updates on the inquiry at straightstimes.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.